EES, pronounced EASE, is an acronym for Engineering Equation Solver. In previous videos, we discussed the basic process associated with setting units, checking them, and converting between them with an emphasis on working in the base SI unit system. This video is going to discuss a tool that makes setting units easier by providing an abbreviated pull-down list for this purpose. The process required to add units to the EASE database will also be discussed. The Units list provides a convenient shortcut for entering units that are used often. The Units list is activated by right-clicking in any of the areas where you would otherwise manually enter the unit for a variable. So here I can enter the equation L equals 10, or maybe L represents a length in meters. And because 10 is a numerical constant, I could add units right here in the equations window in square brackets. So I can also add units right here using the units list. And I do that by right clicking and uh, <coughs> selecting units list. And then in this drop down list, I have uh, access to some commonly used units that uh, I can define. So here I'm going to select uh, meters and then paste. And you can see it inserts the, the unit right there where otherwise I would have had to type it. Uh, the basic set of units in the list depends on whether you have your unit system set to English or to SI. And we're going to talk a lot more about setting the unit system when we get to properties in Chapter 4 of Mastering Ease. And my unit system is set to SI, and therefore I get the list that's shown here. I could also access the units list from the dialog that I would use to specify units in the solution window right here or if I'm specifying units in the variable palette I can I can right click and get the units list here or finally in the variable information window if I'm in this column where I would specify units I can use the unit list so basically any place where I could have typed the unit I can also pull off of this list the unit list can be modified in a way that makes it the most useful to you so you really want to include only a very small number of units that you use a lot in order for it to actually save you time. So the buttons to the right here in this dialog facilitate this process. Uh, units can be added or removed with the Add New and Remove buttons, respectively. Uh, the entire list can be cleared, and you can start over with the Clear button. If you change the units list and you want that change to be recorded beyond the current E session, then you should save the new file using the Save button you should know that when you open Ease, Ease will automatically load one of these two default units uh, files. So either ENG for English or SI for SI. And so that's what you're going to get every time you open a new Ease file or any Ease file. If you have your own separate units list that you've developed and you want to use instead, that's really easy to do because this units list is really just a text file and you can open it and you can edit it with any text editor like notepad so for example here's a text file that I've saved as myunits.unt uh, if I save it uh, then this alternate units list can be automatically loaded using the load button and I can use that then for the duration of the E session alternatively I can merge this list with another list using the merge button uh, if you don't want to manually load your custom units list each time you start Ease, then you can use the dollar $include directive. So the dollar $include directive provides an automatic method to load a, a variety of different files when you run your Ease code, and a .unt file is one of these. Uh, so if I place the statement dollar $include and then the file I want to include, in this case myunits.unt, at the top of the Ease file, then what you're going to find is that the units list will automatically be loaded when I open this file and every time I access it I'll get my custom list. You should note that regardless of how the units in the units list itself is organized they are simply a subset of the larger set of units that are always going to be recognized by Ease. Ease includes several hundred units and um, that's always available to you. It's likely to include any unit you might run across but it is I guess possible that you uh, might find a unit that's not in the Ease database. Um, it's possible to add to the list of units that are recognized by Ease if that happens to you. So for example, maybe I want to add the unit um, car equals 4 meters. So a unit of braking distances uh, can sometimes be expressed in car lengths or cars and maybe I want one car to be equal to 4 meters. The unit car is not recognized in Ease 
Uh, you can see that by looking in the unit conversion information dialog under length. Car doesn't appear here. If I were to enter the equation L equal 4 car and then try to convert from cars to meters, I'm going to get an error that says we don't know what car is. So we have to add the unit car to the list of those units that are recognized by ease. And that's pretty easy to do because that list is also just a text file. So we can open the file units.txt which is found in the root ease installation directory and again you can use any editor here I'm using notepad instructions for adding units are found at the top of the units.txt file uh, unit conversions are organized according to dimension so in this case I have to go find the dimension of interest which is length uh, the first entry in the unit list in this case meters is the basis used for conversion of all the other units in that dimension. So reading down the list, this should be pretty obvious. One angstrom is 10 to the minus 10 meters, one nanometer is 10 to the minus 9 meters, uh, etc. So I need to add then the appropriate entry at the bottom of the list. So in this case, um, I will define uh, the entry car. And then when I restart ease, um, it will locate, it will load the new set of unit conversions and at that point then um, I can locate car in my unit conversion information dialog here and the statement uh, converting four cars into meters isn't going to result in an error it will be treated like any other units um, note that you must uh, deselect the overwrite units file selection if you ever update ease because if you don't do that then your modified units.txt file is going to be overwritten the next time you download a new version of ease. So this is one of a series of tutorials meant to describe the operation of the ease software. If you'd like more information about ease or you want to obtain the software or you want to access more of these tutorials please go to the website fchart.com. These tutorials are excerpted from the book Mastering Ease uh, which can also be obtained from the FTAR website.